And good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. We begin this day with breaking news out of Torrington, where firefighters are now on the scene of a serious building fire. Let's get right out to News H. Jamie Muro, who is on the scene with late details. Jamie. Keith, good afternoon. This is North Elm in Torrington. You know, when you pull up, it doesn't take long to figure out where the fire was. This is the front side of the building here, and you can see where firefighters in many cases had to knock out windows, both in the basement area and up on the first floor here. There's damage here, and then there is debris where two anything from insulation to some food that was even thrown out here during the process of fighting this fire. And then you can see where the fire worked its way, or wherever really the origin was, worked its way throughout this first and second floor of this two-story brick building. Four different apartments here. I'll show you some video from earlier this morning. News 8 first on the scene here as we caught images of this fire. Talking with fire officials, they said there was heavy flames, heavy smoke. They did go inside to try and look for people, make sure everybody got out okay. We did speak with one man that lived on the first floor who tells us he woke up, saw smoke, and things got out of hand very quickly. Me and my girlfriend were sleeping, and she comes out running talking about uh, smoke, fire in the kitchen and shit. I didn't even look in the kitchen. I just ran out and uh, got me and my girlfriend outside. We got the dogs out, and it was bad. I opened the kitchen window because we were trying to look for one of the dogs. As soon as I opened it, tons of black smoke just hit me in the face, so I just, I don't know. Luckily, luckily, she got the dog. Anywhere between 12 to 14 people are now displaced by this fire. Red Cross is here helping these folks out. Now, the fire marshal is here, just started this investigation as to what exactly started this fire in the first place. We're live in Torrington. I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.